in the Bible. Therefore, my brothers and sister, sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election, for if you do these things, you will never stumble, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are all together in the same bond of Jesus Christ, who loves us so much, and we offer our life and this worship to Him, to follow Him, to join uh, to the angels, to praise His name. But while we are doing that, we sometimes stumble, everybody stumbles. No one of us who are able to save himself or herself to be stumbled once, twice, or maybe even every day. So I'm going to say two things about this stumbleness, or that we are stumbled many times. And very often we are doing it because we have an enemy who knows what are our weaknesses, what are the points where we can be, uh, can be touched by his, by his plans, and he wants us that we stumble. And we confess that, yes, I will stumble and fall. Because we are like this. Very often we do not represent our Lord as He would approach, as He would answer, as He would take care, as He would do things. We do not do the things like He would do. So that's why we might stumble and fall. All of us. Very simple things in family, very simple things even in the congregations. There are many occasions when we might stumble here in a church, doesn't matter it's a Philippine or Korean or Hungarian worship, that we may stumble when we do not listen to each other, when we, when we think that we know better than others or many other occasions can possible that we can stumble. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. Because we are all called by the Lord Jesus Christ. We are all called. We understood his living word. We understood what he did for us on the cross, what his, what his, his life that is given to us means to us, that our sins are forgiven and we may receive a new life in him. So we are all called to, to do something, to change, to be somebody else that His living word can work in our hearts and can change us. So we are called to, to serve, to lead, to learn, to strengthen, comfort, heal, love, forgive, care, help, teach, and so on. We are helped to, not just to sit in the pews and listening to the wonderful music, not just to, to, <coughs> to read the Bible at home on the silence, but to to do something for His glory, to live for His glory. So we are called to follow Jesus, to understand His callings in our situations, in our life, in our church, because all of us has callings, special one, and it's very important to the glory of God and to us as well. We are called to follow Jesus in every situation. We are called to show up Christ. As people look at me or look at you, 
and says, wow, this cry is real. And the day, I'm shy to say that because very often you cannot see, but I hope and let me believe, and I want, and I want to make every effort, I, I want to be like that. To be like that. The people can see Christ, who, who forgives my sins, who changed my heart. So we are called from darkness into light, into his light, to show his love and mercy to the world. This is his work. He is doing that. He is calling. He is who in the other line and, and calls the number, our number, that is ringing and we can pick it up and we can say yes. And he is, his divine power has given us everything we need. The Bible says, the one Peter, his divine power has given everything we need for a goodly life to our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and godness, by the knowledge of Christ. It's in my mind, in my heart, because I'm learning, I'm studying. I am, I have a personal relationship with him every day. I, I am close to him and I want to be close all the time to him. To able to understand, to achieve the things that he says, that he reveals to my eyes. His work, continue reading, through this, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the, in divine, in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. You may participate in the divine nature. Wow, it's fantastic that you can be like God. Actually, like Christ. React like Christ. Thinking like Christ. You have to be changed doing that so. Because your natural thinking and natural deeds, speaking, anything else is far away from Him. You have to be close to Him that on a natural way, in, in, in the harmony of the word of, word, of, word of Him, His living word, you might be changed like Him. So, that's the only way to be escaped. To be escaped by the world, by the corruption and many other things that is in the world caused by their evil desires. So, we are called by Him. He may give us divine power, divine nature. What we need to do? What is our work? Do we have to do anything at all? I'm just reading again the chapter that I read. This is the answer. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. What is goodness? that is good for his glory. Anything else worth nothing that is good for his glory. And to goodness, knowledge. To be achieved what is good, I have to know what God thinks is good. What is his thinking? What is his revelation about these things? I have to understand. So I need knowledge. And to knowledge, self-control. That I was able to fit into the plan of God. Because I was able to understand, to achieve 
and I won't follow him. And a self contort perseverance. So it lasts not only one day. I want it today because today I give my life to Christ. I am so enthusiastic. I want to follow Christ. And tomorrow? And tomorrow? The doctor? Perseverance. I decided to follow Christ in everything. And to persevere, perseverance, godliness through Christ. And to godliness, mutual affection. And to mutual affection, love. This is the end of the way. Love of Christ. Love of Christ. That is on the cross for us. Is living in my heart. And I can be like him. So, how does it work? Effort is the only thing is on you. But the work is on Christ. And the father's thing think that all of us will be able to experience that. Later, when we look back, we can see that, oh Lord, Thank you so much that even the effort that is the only thing from us is from you as well. From the Holy Spirit. So everything, Lord, everything is from you. So be praised and worship for you always because you are great and you love us so much. But still, but still, the thing that is you need, it's very important. Your decision and your effort. Your effort. Every day, every time effort. To be able to be built as the body of Christ. As you see on the picture, the body of Christ. You yourself and the congregation. Oh, I mean congregations. A body of Christ. Representing Him. And praising Him. And being glory, praise and honor His holy name. Because it is His body. Well, till we are here on this earth, our body can have many affections. Illness may come, uh, weakness may come, physical problems may come. A bug, you can get a bug, and you can be in bed for a while. It can be possible. But you always can be restored by the living word. Always. And we are his body. To be healthy. As we know the prescription to be healthy all the time. By his grace. So we can have a fruitful life. Fruitful life like today. Praising his name together. Being one in him. And loved by each other. Although we don't know each other, even so far away from each other, or background, or language, or everything else is totally different. But we can be one. It's wonderful. It's a special time. It's a wonderful sign of His presence and the fruits that we, that He able to give us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, as Galatians says, these are the fruits and many others that we may get. You know what? All of these fruits are very obvious. Very obvious. You see the picture? 
the smell. Good fruits has good smell and good taste. And bad fruits has bad smell and bad taste. Very simple. We Hungarians like very much palinko. Who knows what palinko means? Hungarians know palinko means. You don't know what palinko means? Okay, I'm going to teach you what palinko means. It's very important. If you meet a Hungarian, palinko is very important. Palinko is a fruit uh, made a uh, special spirit. Alcohol beverage. It's like, like vodka or like, like uh, what? Whiskey or anything else. But it's specially from the fruit. And if it's a uh, quality palinka, if you smell, smell the drink, you can smell the real smell of the fruit. But if you smell the fruit, you have to know that before it happens, the fruit has to be totally rotten and horrible. And smells horrible. It's crazy. You can know what it means if you have ever have this in your in 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 in, in your life, but it's it's very really horrible. It's the rotten, horrible smell of kind of very nice, otherwise very nice uh, uh, grape or 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 peach or anything else. But the end of the thing is, is great. So smell. And if you have an apple in your hand, and this apple is 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 a good apple, you can you can feel the smell. So anyway, we have smell, dear brothers and sisters. We as Christians have a smell. What kind of smell do we have? And a wonderful message is to you today. Through the palinka, although I don't want to advertise palinka at all, just I want to, as this is an example to you that that as palinka is rotten fruits can be something good out of it. This is the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Although we are rotten and not so good smell, bad smell, at the end it can be good. By the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, who use us for his glory. So make every effort, as we heard from the message, faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, mutual affection, and love. Why? For if you possess these qualities, in increasing measure, you see, increasing measure, they will keep you, what? They will keep you being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you think it is important? Do you care about that? If you are called by Jesus Christ, this is one of the most important things you can have. To be effective and to be productive. The knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, but whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from, from their past sins. So, the goal is being effective and productive in our knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. To find our spot and our life is being with for the glory of Jesus Christ. Touching, restoring, uplifting, moving, many things. I don't want to read everything. All of these things. Being effective. Being effective in the Lord of Jesus Christ.
through us in the world. So the goal is being everything productive in our knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you? Are you like this? How do you feel yourself? Can you be more like now, today? How? Looking for, eager. And I hope and I believe the Spirit needs you to find it. And I want to go back to the beginning. I mean, the beginning of the desert. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who had received the faith are as precious as ours. That is the meaning of these words. As precious as ours. That able to change the world. Well, going closer, able to change my community, able to change my church. <coughs> Because it is able to change my life. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through our knowledge of God and of, our, of Jesus our Lord. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and direction. And we can be, we can have the effective church. The effective church. Or churches serving to the Lord. And this last picture, for if you do these things, you will never stumble. Or stumble less. Less and less. Because you are growing in Christ. That's why your way is more straight. Straight forward. Or growing Christ in you. And you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A rich welcome today, rich welcome tomorrow, and rich welcome at the end of the road. When we are all going to recognize each other then and say, wow, it's wonderful, you are here, praise the Lord. And it won't be a problem anymore with the language that we have now, barriers that we have now. There will be problems. And it will be wonderful. That all we can be there. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord. It might happen. So, give us praise to his name. He singing another hymn. Ten thousand reasons. This is the this is the title of the song. There are ten thousand reasons, or more than ten thousand reasons, to give thanks to His name, and we are praising His name right now here, having uh, Him answering to 